So far today, we have discovered two vehicles in our search for 70-year-old Janet Walsh. And if you want to see how we got to this moment, stay tuned, because this is one episode you are not going to want to miss. Police and Shaler are renewing the call to find 70-year-old Janet Walsh. Authorities say Walsh invited her daughter over for dinner back on January 20th of last year. And when her daughter showed up, her mom's car was gone, but her phone was still upstairs. Walsh's vehicle is a 2018 silver Chevy Trax with PA plates KTW 6007. If you've seen that car, please call police. It's now been two years since a woman from Shaler disappeared and still no sign of her. Walsh drove a silver Chevy Trax with license plate KTW 6007. Allegheny County Police are asking to hear from anyone with information. Ho, 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 holy There's a fucking boat ramp right there. Huh? What is that? There's a boat ramp right there. Holy there's a what? There's a boat ramp. Right there. Right there. We, we, oh, we didn't even know that was right there. We didn't check that when we were here. When we were here last year, we put in right there. We never left this ramp. We never knew that there was a ramp right here. That ramp, that's for kayakers. Yeah. So, so, so we're, we're in search of a woman that went missing in her car. Oh, you still looking for her? Janet Walsh. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. We were here a year ago. We started right here, yeah. but we, I, I, in looking over here, I never knew that this boat ramp was here. Yeah. Um, she, 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 she could have used that. Because we're, we're, we're looking at potential. See how the ripples roll in there? Is it shallow? It's shallow right there. But that's not to say, could what? Well, yeah, because she disappeared in January, so water levels are going to be higher. Yeah. 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 I remember because I was down here when they were doing a lot of the searching. Matter of fact, of mine, he ended up passing away last Christmas. He knew them, okay, the husband and the wife. Uh, the husband died, and uh, she was a lost soul. Yes. She even told my buddy that had passed away, and she knew him, and she was looking for, you know, friendship and that, you know? And um, never heard nothing after that. Yeah, yeah, her, her, yeah, her husband died six, yeah, 60 her days husband prior. Died. She couldn't handle it. Now. Yeah. Right. Huh. I know they searched. We said there's a car down here and a sunken boat or something. Yeah, we, we found a few cars over there last yeah. time we were here. Yeah, yeah we, we searched all the way down through the city. and But, you know, she hasn't been found. Her vehicle hasn't been found. She's here. You know, she's here somewhere. We just got to find her. Job yeah, 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 in. yeah. Now they that could them. be a spot where she could drive right in too, uh -huh. if she even knew that existed. Yeah, right, right. yeah, yeah, she yeah. Know that, but right. She's familiar with this part of the river. Right. Yeah. She, she's from right there, Shaler Township, yeah. and her her husband's buried right up right up top of the hill of St. Mary's really? Cemetery. Yeah. I know she couldn't handle it with that with him passing. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah. Well, we're. Yeah, man, we're not we're we're not leaving until everything's been searched. She's 70 years old. She's lived her life. Her husband passed. She's unable to get past that, and she just wants to be with her husband. Yeah. In a boat ramp right here in the search area. 
that we did not check. Is it too shallow? I don't know. Right now it does appear to be shallow. However, we're at, we're at water levels lowest conditions for this river. It, we're, it's, it's October 5th. Right. You know, she, she disappeared in January after all the snowfall, you know, and, and there, there, the river is going to be a lot higher than it is right now. I, I don't ever remember us even think we, 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 we turned around right here. This is what happened. We pulled the RV in, we turned around right there, parked the RV right there. Jacob parked his thing right there. Everything was there at that boat ramp. We never, we, we never looked down here. This is a tight corner though. Yeah, it is a really tight corner. It is very shallow, yeah. Very, very shallow. Well, we're, we're, we'll, we'll put in down there and come up here and check it. Yeah. Do you know that there's another boat ramp up here? I sure do. Oh, I sure do. Yep. Yeah. So I know they have two ramps. There's the old one that right at the tunnel goes mm -hmm. straight down. Now, whether that's still operable, I don't know, but that'd be easy to get. I don't think that's blocked off at all. Yeah. So they'd be able to go. She'd be able to go straight so, down there. So right? Uh, right above the spillway, right? In the bridge yeah. right okay, there. Go through the tunnel. Yep. Yep. Okay, straight down. Yep. It's yep. the old ramp. Yep. And then they have another one, but I think it's gated off. Where you go up, and there's another ramp up there. Okay. So yeah. There's somebody there you can. Yeah. That, that that's actually my main point of focus right there because yeah. we started here, the last time we were here, and it was just like you know I just want to. We've learned a lot over the last year with what we do, so I wanted to just come back to square one, where we searched, and then move up there. On January 20th of 2020, at approximately 8.30 p.m., Shaler police were dispatched to the 100 block of Dolores Drive for a missing person report. Once on scene, responding officers learned that 70-year-old Janet Walsh was supposed to meet her daughter for dinner. Detectives are also looking for her vehicle, which is described as a 2018 silver Chevrolet Trax with Pennsylvania registration KTW6007. One car, a boat, we've already dove on those. If you guys have not seen the episode of our first search for Janet Walsh, go check that out right now. We were here at this very same location a year ago. We have learned so much over the last year. And based upon what we've learned, we're gonna take that knowledge and bring it back to this case. Janet's still missing, her vehicle is still missing, and we really feel like we can find her. And we are not leaving this area until we've searched everything. Coming past the kayak launch here. Getting some really good imaging. Nothing, really, really clean. Her husband's buried right at the top of the hill. She lived right up over yonder, not too far away. The police, the police, when they came and they searched here, this is where they began their search at this area. This is where we began our search the last time. Like I said, I'm just picking up those pieces we were able to put together. I'm reconfirming some things and then we're putting all the other pieces into place that haven't been put into place yet. And when that's done, that should lead to finding Janet. Six feet deep. There should be a ramp over here. Big old boat wreck down there, see it? Check that out. It's an old sunken boat. There's the ramp right there. It's really secluded back here too. 16 feet. I'm gonna come right across this boat ramp. Anything that's out here should pop right up. Something out there, but it's not a car. All right. We know that this portion 
from where we started when we first came here last year all the way up into the spillway here is clear. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to where we started and we're gonna scan downstream a little bit more to this riverfront. There's been a wall put up after she went missing. We know that at the time she went missing, that wall wasn't there. So that was a really nice secluded area if she wanted to use that access. You know, when, when, when we're talking about a self-harm scenario, but not like we normally deal with. She's 70 years old. She has lived her life. Her husband just passed away two months prior to her disappearing. She's suffering. That's deep. She just wants to be with her husband. talking about a little small SUV so it's gonna float if the windows are up it will float for a long time tree 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 yeah. we got to see how tall that is there it is just off to our right big pile what is that we gotta figure out what that is right there. Tree, tree, tree. And then what is that? You gotta be careful with these trees because they come in here and they're They get hung up on these cars. All right, that's not it. It's way too long. It's not it. Enough imaging there to rule it out. So we're coming over here to where the riverfront park is that I wanted to double check right underneath this bridge. It is 13 feet deep right here. We'll come back tighter to the shore once we go down. Eleven feet right here. Turn around and get a tighter scan on this area. Twelve feet, eleven. We're heading back to the ramp. We're gonna put in above the spillway and we're going to pick up in an area that we haven't searched yet do you know when she went missing if you can get that information please let me know I'll because right if away. i come across that car i'm going to try to call yeah. him now yeah please do it's a silver pickup f-150 i believe it's a blue cobalt yeah okay and Harley Davidson motorcycle too, I guess. Probably in the back of the pickup truck. Okay. <laughs> How recent was that? Uh, I think I started looking for her last week. Uh, oh wow. She's been missing since September 11th. Okay. Okay. So they figure the bodies with the vehicles. So. Yeah. What do you got there? I got a name for you, sir. Okay. It's Joanne Angel. Joanne Angel. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna go see the gentleman now and try to get you some more information. I'll give you a call later. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day today. Good luck to you guys.
Wow. A lot of information in a short period of time there. Yeah, let's let's pack up. Let's, we can yep. talk as we roll. Well, that was a lot of new information uh, in a short period of time. Not not regarding Janet, but there's evidently uh, another missing person case that's very recent to the area within the last 20 days. And then this kind woman that came down to the boat ramp, uh, she has another friend that has gone missing. Allegheny County police detectives along with Fraser Township Police initiated an investigation. Police said Harbison was in a volatile relationship with 57 year old Eric Gibbs, whom officials believe is responsible for her disappearance. Gibbs was found dead from an apparent self harm incident on September 17th in West Deer Township. Investigators along with local fire departments, Allegheny Mountain Rescue Group and Steel City Canine Response conducted several searches in the western Pennsylvania area, police said. Wow, so this gal went missing before this gentleman uh, who, who probably ha was, a, was a little mentally unstable had a, a, a self-harm incident. Yep. Uh, yep. It's really, really unfortunate. That's a really sad, uh, sad thing. It's tragic, it's uh, tragic. The boat ramp we're going to right now is a little bit south of where that happened. There's a boat ramp in the Deer Park area, right there. Really? Where this happened. Holy cow. Yeah. Okay. We're well, we're going to be right down here, so let's yeah. go ahead and scan it anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we'll yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do we'll do a simultaneous search. So we're going. So over. we are being as efficient as possible. We got new information on another case lead. We might as well scan and try to search for the missing uh, silver pickup truck with the Harley Davidson along with the Chevy Cobalt in blue color. So we might we might have a chance at. Uh, very small chance, but we could have three vehicles we could find today that Absolutely. need to get out of the water. Absolutely. And if we find Janet, we're staying to clear the rest of the river up there to look for these cars. Yep. All right, let's do it. Even though this is a foul play scenario, if we don't get involved with foul play, the suspect has is is no longer with us. Right. So it's right. just it, it's a different it's, scenario it's, right there. Right. 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 So, so what Doug's trying to get at is that the associated risk factors with these cases that we come upon that may have some foul play associated with them uh, say that uh, that individual or that group of individuals that may have inflicted the foul play is still out there. We typically try to steer away from these cases just because you know we're, we're out there in the public's eye on the channel. We don't want to be involved with those types of people at all. And if they've done it once, they could do it twice. If they've done it once, they could do it twice, three times, four times, who knows, you know? And if they know we're out there trying to uncover something that they've hidden, yep. they could possibly do something to us. Yep. Fifteen feet. 14 feet deep here. Uh, we're right behind the water treatment plant. And uh, we're gonna scan up the, to this next boat ramp. Then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna go up to, uh, I believe it's Deer Park. Steep little ramp side there. I don't know what that is. Is that a ramp? Whatever it is, it's really dangerous. Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised there's no railing right there. Is this an accident location? That's an accident location. Is it deep enough though? Whoa. Let's see, right here it's 11 feet. Dropping off over here. Coming up, 15, 13, 11, nine. Seven feet, six feet, five feet, four feet. It's only four feet right here. So where they launched the yachts at. It's 11 feet deep in here, 10 feet deep. 
I would be surprised to find something here with the type of uh, technology that's loaded and unloaded right here. Five feet. Nothing. I'm gonna call Peter. Hey, Doug. Hey, Peter, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm uh, doing all right. So we're down here near the Yacht Club, and uh, we're going to continue scanning all the way up to Deer Creek. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's going to be the Deer Creek Boat Ramp. You can meet us up there. Uh, the area we're going into now is an area that I believe Janet would have chosen and is also an area connected to another case here that we just found out about. Really eager to get up here and scan that area. this boat ramp right here. Look how creepy that is. Desolate. It's 10 feet right here. It's probably gonna be too shallow over there. Right as we come into this ramp. Eight feet, seven feet, six, five, four, three. Really shallow in here, really shallow. You can see the bottom. Marina right ahead of us. 18 feet. A lot of debris down there, lots of tires. 15 feet, and we have a vehicle. We have a car right here on live scope. Look at that. 13 feet. From that angle, it looked like a pickup truck. Definitely not fresh really creepy boat ramp. Sort of secluded, tucked in the alley. All right, look at this. We have a car right there. And something else, there's two. Can't be confident until I dive on that, but that's definitely an older big body car. You could see it's box style. Uh, definitely is not what we're looking for. Definitely diving on that, though. I'm gonna put this in the water. It's getting really serious right now. These next three boat ramps are in realm of where Janet could possibly be, and also Darlene. This is where Eric could have dumped those vehicles. A lot of tires. It's also, these vehicles, are newer. They're not gonna show up like a standard vehicle would. Six feet right here. We found, we found one car. Uh, it appears to be a really old school car off of a really sketchy little back marina boat ramp. Um, we marked it okay. and uh, we're gonna continue. There's, there's two more boat ramps oh, wow. to the okay. north. Okay. And we're still in the range of where Janet could have went but we're, we're, we're really, really in the heart of where um, Eric could have dumped Darlene. Yeah. So this last four mile section, you guys scanned, you ruled it out. Yeah. Lots of residences, not Found a, a lot of access. Found a car. It's, it's, it's not what we're looking for. How, it doesn't mean it's not something else and we will be diving on that, but we got to keep it moving to make sure we know what we have, clear as much as we can today. And if we might have more cars marked, we'll dive on that. We'll dive on the car down there. Just trying to stay as tight and as efficient as possible. All right. That is clear. Now we have to head back to where we just had lunch with the boys and uh, go up and above that spillway right here and put in. I have one vehicle right there. 
I have one vehicle right here. It's a big vehicle too. It's an SUV. It's on its side. 25 feet deep, 24 feet deep, 20 feet to the top of the vehicle. And it does not look like a car, it looks like a small SUV. If it looks like a small SUV, that could be the Chevy Trax we're looking for. I'm still getting, trying to get some better imaging. I mean, getting great image, it's just inconclusive. It's real fat, like a small SUV. That doesn't make sense though. How did, how did the car get right there underneath the dock? It's right under me. Magnets down. I'm on it. All over it. It's a car. Definitely a car. We have a lock. Uh, reading 22.2 feet deep. Top of the vehicle is at about 16, 16 and a half feet. This, uh, this, with the current flow, that deep 24 feet, like her vehicle would have came out to at least 50 feet and then floated down and sunk like it would have done one of these things right next to that boat ramp. Oh yeah. See, that's a good shadow right there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. See those two wheels? Mm -hmm. But I'm not getting those two wheels when I'm over it. Oh my goodness. That does look like a small SUV. Check, 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 check. Come check. Diver down, diver down. I have reached the, the target. I repeat, I have reached the target. Appears to be a vehicle, definitely a vehicle. Coming around the front windshield. Visibility is about one foot. Windshield is intact. Both passenger and driver's side front window is open. There's a lot of lines down here. A lot of lines. 
All right, how are we doing on time? I was doing a lot of three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Having a real rough time with visibility. It's about two inches. I can't see any identifying markers on the vehicle. I have been able to remove an emblem. This vehicle has been down here for a few decades. I repeat, this vehicle has been down here for a few decades. I'm going to begin to make my ascent topside. I repeat, I'm going to begin to make my ascent topside. Oh, dive her up, dive her up. Dive her up. Good. It's not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. No. Right. It's one of those, every single wheel, that's from the hood. It is a small SUV. Windows are open. Did my best to try to clear it. Once you're down there, zero vis been down there for a couple decades. You thinking about like pulling it? I mean, is it intact? Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's sitting on its side. As far as uh, rigging and pulling out, um, most ideal position, because all of the suspension components are exposed. Uh, I tried my best to clear. Uh, both the front windows are open. Um, front windshield is intact. Uh, I mean, we're here to lend our resources every step of the way if so you if need you, it. So uh, if we were to get the, the truck down here, you'd be able to hook up the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The we're, chains or the bags to it? Yeah, that's what we specialize in, yeah. All right, let me, let me make a call and see what they say. And go. I'm, not, I'm not seeing it. Hmm. So my guy I got right here, he knows everything about cars. There is a no. <laughs> All right, look, so I just, I, I just got out of the river in Pittsburgh, right? None of us know what this emblem is on this car. Look, we've tried to reverse search this image. Uh, a Hugo emblem. A Hugo? Hugo? A Hugo. 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 Okay. How's that spelled? Oh, yeah, yeah, that is. That's a Hugo. I knew you would know, dude. I knew you would know. We're about to get a Hugo out of, here, out of, out of this river wow. in Pittsburgh. And yeah. we just pull it from an angle. Okay. Right. Really easy. So the car, the car, the, the, the small little Yugo. Right? Yeah. You ever heard of a Yugo? Oh, a really a old Yugo. thing. Yeah, so but we it, want to be over, yeah. well over rigged well, out here. Well over with your stages yeah. out that way. Yeah. And then it's sitting on its side. So it's okay. really easy for me to go down and rig it. Okay. So what we're going to do is while they're going to get that, I'm going to go down, throw the rigging on it, run the rigging up here. That way, as soon as they get here, they can just attach to it, pull it up and it's pretty much downhill from there. So I'm gonna put a basket into the rigging, into a basket up to the top, and then we'll run his cable out. I 
I am going to begin to rig the front of the vehicle. Ten four. I do have the axle rig in basket form. Diver's been in the water three minutes. All right, we are fully rigged. I repeat, we are fully rigged. Vehicle is rigged and I am coming up top side or keep coming up top side. Copy that, vehicle is rigged. You are coming up top side. Good. Good? Yep. Copy that. Got it right where we wanted to. And now we're gonna work it right through the roof. Drop your boom down. Here we go. Here we go. Keep pulling it. Keep pulling it. Keep pulling it. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Here we go. All the way. All the way. If I would have just looked, I would have known what it was. Look at that. Uh, let me pull the dipstick. Let me check the oil. Nineteen eighty-six. you guys like everything we're doing here at Adventures with Purpose to help families and law enforcement all across this nation completely free of charge, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification so you can stay up to date for new videos that come out, and hit the like button. Leave a comment, let us know what you think about this video.
no long bones at all. So it's clear. All right, long day. We still have a car left that we found earlier. It's a really old school style car, box style car that we need to dive on. Plus we still have the boat ramp about two miles upstream underneath the bridge. Really sketchy location to check. Our search for Janet Walsh is far from over. So stay tuned for episode two. What happened January 19th of 2020? This is a prime location. We're running out of options here locally. We definitely have a car. How did this car get there? 